Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. As Roy Cropper is arrested for Lauren's murder in Coronation Street, here's all the evidence against him and what D.S. Swain has missed. Roy Cropper is prime suspect in the disappearance of troubled teenager Lauren Bolton in Coronation Street thanks to his misguided good deed. While the residents of Corey are adamant, at first at least, that Roy's totally innocent, D.S. Swain is equally sure that he's hiding something. And things are set to get worse for poor Mr. Cropper. D.S. Swain has now revealed that they're treating Lauren's disappearance as a murder inquiry and she arrests Roy for the crime. And soon amateur detectives and internet sleuths are joining in the hunt to find Lauren, which is bad news for everyone but especially Roy. As the evidence mounts up against Roy, things look bleak. So here's our version of Swain's evidence board and some huge things that she seems to have missed. Of course, we all know that Roy cleaned Lauren's flat as a favor to Evelyn, worried she was going to get fined by the landlord thanks to Lauren leaving things in such a mess. He went to the flat, donned his marigolds, and got his Mrs. Hinch on. He thought he was doing a good thing, but in actual fact, he was removing a whole lot of evidence. And that doesn't look good. Roy scrubbed the flat from top to bottom, including cleaning up the blood on the floor, but either he didn't notice the blood stains on the curtains or he noticed them and didn't think to mention them to anyone, whereas Seen Tully was in the flat less than five minutes before he clocked them and alerted D.S. Swain. That's another black mark against Roy's name. In the course of his tidying up, Roy found a condom wrapper under the sofa cushions. He picked it up without realizing at first what it was, then recoiled in disgust and dropped it into the bin. Unfortunately, by then he'd taken off his rubber gloves meaning his fingerprints will be all over that wrapper. Oh. It may have been to help Evelyn out, but Roy paying Lauren's outstanding rent when he just sacked her from her job at the cafe doesn't really look great. Lauren told Roy she intended to go away and start again somewhere new, which is why he's not worried about her. The only trouble is, she didn't mention that plan to anyone else, so now it just looks like an excuse. She may be a super detective with a hotshot sidekick in Craig Tinker, but if we're talking internet sleuths, you can't get better than Corey fans on social media. There are a lot of red flags that D.S. Swain seems to be ignoring. Here's what we've spotted so far. Bethany Platt has been fretting that her asking about the right-wing gang Lauren and her dad were part of has stirred things up for the reformed teenager. But she's screaming into the wind because no one else seems remotely bothered that Lauren used to hang out with actual terrorists. In fact, no one's even bothered to have a word with her evil dad about it all. It's not like he's hard to find, what with him being in prison. As well as being mixed up with some seriously dodgy people in real life, Lauren had an Ovid's account and was filming sleazy content in order to pay her bills. Surely the chaps who were paying for those videos are far more suspicious than Roy. One thing that hasn't yet been confirmed is whether the blood in the flat is actually Lauren's. We're not detectives, but we reckon that's quite an important thing to investigate. Just saying. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.